In the subject of quadrilaterals within geometry, we'd like to prove that two opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. To show this, that this is indeed always true, we have a parallelogram in which, if we move any point, such point A, notice that the opposite angles are remaining congruent, angle A and angle C, or angle B and angle D. No matter how we change our parallelogram, this is always indeed the case. So let's prove this in general. And what we'll do is, given a parallelogram angle, uh, parallelogram A, B, C, D, we wish to show that angles B and angle D are indeed congruent. Well, to prove this, we'll first write down our given, that parallelogram A, B, C, D is indeed our given. And a flow of the proof might be that if we were to construct two triangles here, say, if we were to connect... Uh, point C to point A, that we have two triangles in which, if we could prove these are congruent triangles, then corresponding parts of these two congruent triangles would show that angle B and angle D are congruent. So, first, construct segment, construct segment AC. How can we do that? Our reason is two points determine a line. Two points determine a line. Next, since this is a parallelogram, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So, side BC must be congruent to AD, and side AB must be congruent to side CD. So, BC is congruent to AD. Se uh, segments, and AB is congruent to CD. AB is congruent to CD. Reason why? Opposite sides, we'll abbreviate OP for opposite, sides of a parallelogram, we'll abbreviate that symbol for parallelogram, are congruent. Abbreviation for congruent is the equal sign with the tilde on top of that. Note here also that AC must be congruent to itself. So that means that this segment is congruent to itself. How can that be true? This is called the reflexive property. Anything is congruent to itself. From doing this, you'll note that tri uh, we have two now congruent triangles where all the sides are congruent to all the other sides. So the reason that these two triangles will be congruent is called the side-side-side congruence property. Congruence property. You'll note that the two triangles that are now congruent are triangles BCA, so triangle BCA is now congruent to triangle DAC, DAC. Since these lines don't really match up, let's move that this here, just one line up. So, now these two triangles are now congruent. Well, any portion of a congruent triangle is congruent to any other portion of a congruent triangle. So, in particular, angle B must be congruent to angle D. And that's because, and we use the phrase, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. CPCTC, corresponding parts of of congruent triangles are congruent. And therefore, angle B, this angle, must be congruent to angle D. And indeed, there's the proof.